Welcome to Calling Out with Susan Pinsky, a place where Susan can introduce to you psychics, clairvoyance, past lives, and paranormal experiences. Now, here's your host, Susan Pinsky. Hey, hey, it's Susan Pinsky. We're finally on live (laughs) on Calling Out with Susan Pinsky. We have on the line today our special guest, uh, Kendra J. Rossi. Kendra, can you hear me? Hi, I can hear y'all. Oh my goodness! So thank you so much for your patience. This is this is an amazing um, opportunity today um, to bring on Kali Simone, who is a psychic medium, and Jennifer M. Schaefer, who is also a psychic medium, who worked on a special case, um, the finding Joanne Ringer. And Joanne Ringer, if if you don't know who that is, was Kendra's Ross, Kendra Rossi's sister who went missing last year. I think it was in April around that time. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. And so, um, Mary, so we did a, we did an entire search for this woman psychically, and we had some amazing findings. And um, at the same time, Mary Carey, uh, who is my guest host here today, <laughs> who's going to take over the whole my show, guest co-host, <laughs> because I'm obsessed with this she, stuff. She yes. had some. She was just riveted by the fact that mm-hmm. we were so spot on with everything. And Kendra yes, knows, yeah. and I've known Kendra for gosh, it's, Kendra, how long have we known each other? Yes, I don't know, fifteen years, uh, like 2006 or seven or something. No, 2005. Right, they, so, they're friends. They've they're known each other in the nice. past. Awesome. They, you know, they're good <laughs> friends. And also, um, the coincidence behind the whole thing is that you know she wanted to come on the show and <laughs> and get another reading. She was begging me on, <laughs> yes. on, this, on begging. Our, I only went on Doctor Drew's show this live to podcast. get to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I was like, I don't want to be on this show and talk wanna, about rehab. I want to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like if I have to do Drew's show to get to you, I will. <laughs> no, and I was I was actually really flattered because she had such a good outcome with her yes. with her readings, and I mm. I just want to say that the psychic mediums that I work with that I've worked with over the last five years are all spot on. I make sure that everybody mm. is you. amazing at what they do. Um, to take something like. Uh, Mary Carey into their hands is one thing, but to take <laughs> Kendra Rossi, <laughs> Kendra Rossi and, and Jay Ro- Jade Rossi into in a circumstance that yeah. was so um, it was so disheartening to get a call from her and for her to tell me that you know her sister was missing and I mm-hmm. I we waited you know six months eight months to um, address it we uh, we got together Rebecca Fearing MC who's trying to be on here today as well we've had we had a few sound issues so we're hoping that she calls in and we had Jennifer and Kalise and also uh who else do we have it was just you four right yeah. and so oh no uh, and there was one more no I just can't remember who was there not one more Rebecca yeah. oh anyway anyway so um <laughs> so basically what we did is we we tried to work we actually we had Kendra's uh, detective on the line and so she was the, the last person that was in that conversation mm-hmm. and we were trying to figure out where uh, what happened to Joanne and where she ended up and it was something that was a very touchy you know sensitive situation um, everybody went into it psychically they were capable of seeing the area that she was um she was taken to and may, we also if you listen to the last two podcasts you'll see that there was a um a sort of a clear reason why it happened and what happened to her but more than that we were trying to figure out where her her um her remains were um or if, you know, we were hoping that she wasn't dead, but we, we were psychically yeah. able to see that she was because she was, she and the man who, who murdered her actually were giving us clues. I'm and, the, getting chills from this. Yeah. and the clues yeah. that we got yeah. were pretty much, we, we got numbers, we got uh, areas. We Is got, there a two or an eight? Yes, we got numbers. That could possibly link as far as roads or direction is concerned. 
Okay, so that's an audio of MC who I wish could call Wait, in the, right did now. Did you say the man that did this to her also tried to communicate with you guys? Uh, yes. yes, he was. As, as he actually husband, right? he yeah. actually murdered her, and then he it, he gave he, some information yeah. to the police, and then he 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 murdered himself. So yeah. oh that was him. I didn't know he I talked, talked to, to her guys early too. on though too. You wow. contacted me. Yeah. So yeah, let me let me talk wow. about that the little that little through. drop that oh we just gosh. had from MC. There the two and the eight. She was feeling a road and. I was I was feeling the nine, which is in this area of Massachusetts, which I know this road because my son went to Amherst. And I, I, I felt like it was in this area, too, the way that they were describing the area. But the two and the eight was actually the day that they right. found oh. Joanne's mm. remains. And, and, okay, so ideally, okay, the way I set this all up, and I'm going to go back a little bit farther – was I had Jennifer Schaefer and I had Rebecca Fearing talk to Kendra at the beginning before we did the podcast because and the, and it was a very sensitive time because she was in mourning and and they she, I think Kendra did some of the information that you got help you in the investigation and help you you know sort of go forward and try to mm. see, make sense of it all. Well, it's it, it's funny because. <clears throat> At the time, you know, there was all this information from Rebecca and Jennifer and MC and Grief, which uh, some of it was like yes, 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 and the others we were like, oh, I don't, I don't know. And then, um, and then, you know, now that what's come to light, um, you know, is this, then we're like, it makes total sense because I, I believe it was MC was saying two and and eight, and we're like, I don't know. There's no uh, and two and an eight out like there. The 28th was found. She was found on the 28th of February, and mm. when um, and when we were together. looking at the the territory, um, Kalise was able to. The, I mean, some uh, Kendra's been working on this since it all happened. Right. She's been out March, trying to March of last year. She's been trying right. to figure out how to get the police to look in the right place and trying to do everything in her power yeah. to get. We got it's, some pretty clear information on that. <clears throat> yeah, and so psychic, so yeah. we had wow. a we had a, um, a we didn't have a map at the time, but what I found really interesting when she was found just recently, Kendra called and gave me the information. She said that they were they were found. She was found in a wooded area um, near a turkey farm and a Christmas tree farm. And both of those things were mentioned by, um, Rebecca. <clears throat> Rebecca. Also, um, that the fact that it was near a red structure and we were thinking a red structure, maybe it was a, you know, this red bridge or something. People and I'm saying maybe a car. Like yeah. A truck but, or... but, but you guys, there's one clip <clears throat> that you guys, you, that you did where you were kind of discussing it in the second show. I, I saw something red. I don't know if that's the red wood you saw or if it's the oh, truck thing, mm-hmm. but I, I wrote down red, 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 red. I do feel that the body is to the west of a body of water and that it's on the edge but not in the water. Yes. and then Can I, can I speak to that real quick? Yes. So so where, where she was found um, was uh, pretty much all of the things that you described. So... Um, wow. And, and and there is a a waterfall just very close to, to there, which I remember mm-hmm. Kulis had said she could hear water, uh, like a waterfall trickling off. That was um, MC, like actually. A, MC I mean, mentioned that. She yeah. said there's a trickling of water, a trickling of water. Oh, and my gosh. That's they keep so getting crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff. yeah. Wow. But it was funny because when and that the, message came the day that was so back there for, the, um, for her, you know, her memorial, uh, this this past Saturday, the first thing we saw when we were pulling up was a whole bunch of turkeys, and so wow. that was really significant to me from from day one because that was something that everybody had kind of said like I see turkeys, I see a farm, right. and it was it was all of those things. Yeah. So, and also the um, the area was off a hairpin turn, which is a what is the name of it, Kendra? Well. So the hairpin turn is um, more off like the Mohawk Trail, but this area does have a hairpin turn, but it's not called the hairpin turn. But it does have a turn like that, and it's, it was um, located in, in Hatfield, Massachusetts. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I saw it nearby. We have a picture of the map, which yeah. shows the lake above, you know, it's body of water. There's sort of a sort of a fast turn. And I think because he was pulling something, it was harder to get around the corner. Right. I think Rebecca was mentioning how it was like a turn and he had to go up and down and up and down. And right. when we found this on the map, we were realizing, oh, wow, this could be the area. And then she also saw this red standing building, which um, also mm. um, Jennifer and, and you saw. It. I don't, yeah. Nate has that clip as well. And there's a kind Cedarwood. of a, a small structure that I see that is maybe a red wood of some type and she keeps saying a small bridge of some type it's not like a big gigantic bridge yeah. and then there's another one where where um <laughs> wow. Khalees and yeah. and jennifer were going they actually could visually see the the other two structures that were like next a shed to it. or the, something yeah yeah and it was yeah, but they saw the tree and mm-hmm. they saw that there was a lot of trees which yep. jennifer mentioned yeah and so yeah, i mean we we kind of Right. We kind of and like, somebody had talked about a wooded shed um, or or something to that effect. I went back and watched the the replay of our of the last thing we did, and somebody had talked about a, a like a wooded shed or a, something to that effect. And when when I did go out there, um, there was uh, I don't remember what it's called like a like a, a Lido like a, it's something where. It's like uh, a, like a rectangular structure that's kind of almost like an RV but without wheels or something, but it's like that shape. No, 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 no. like a like a little like a like a shed. I don't know how to explain it. Where they um, keep tools, where like, they keep tractors keep, and stuff like that. Okay. Is that what you're talking about? Uh, I, I guess I, I don't know. How to, <laughs> it's, it's, I don't remember the term for it. Right, that's oh. okay. And it's silo. <laughs> well, this is a- so. Wait, I want you to play that clip where where Jennifer and and Kalise were were viewing. They they can see you know these areas. They can see exactly what they're looking at. Yeah, but it's not a shed. It's on the right hand side when you look at this. Um, There's I'm- a marker that's there that feels very not a shed. Not that's not the correct word. Like either a- is it to the left? Is the oh, is the funny. marker to the left? It could be to the left. The road could I've, be to the left. I feel she's right by a tree. She's right under a tree. Right. In a but marsh. There's so, there's so many trees that I think many that trees they, had in America. Go, they had to go where a certain, only just because of what I've dealt with, they have to go with something that might not be close to her. Right. Is yes. Yes. And it's a little bit off in the distance and it's like a black, it's, it's a one room. Yes, I see it now. Yeah. Thank you. Oh yeah. And it's not, <laughs> it's not necessarily wooden panels. Yeah. It's like got sheeting on the side. Yes. And I feel that that is to the, I want to say if I'm looking at a bird's eye view. You're going um, down a highway or if you're going down it a road. may be east, but it's within eyesight. It's eye shot. Yes. Is that what you say? Um, of, of that <laughs> shed yeah. in the woods. And there is a path. Which is also further on from that shed. I'm just trying to get a, a north south east of, on this, but I see that now. Okay. And it's pretty flat in that part. You can see it's, very flat. it's open. There's no shrubs. It's all pine trees, and it's flat. And there's leaf litter on the ground. That's that's the connecting point. Thank you like for pointing that out. <laughs> that's Every time you I hear you team. both do this, I just am like, that's that was my favorite team. part when these two were both simultaneously yeah. linking in. At the same wow. place, and what, what <laughs> I feel left out, I want to do that. I know, I know. It's no, I, mean, I want to see what you guys are seeing. Now, <laughs> now, Kendra, when when you when you hear that again, do you kind of you visualize that? Right, you've seen it. Um, yes, because you know, during my trip home, um, to, to hear that back, yes, after after being there, yes. Um, wow. I don't really know how to say it, but yes, all of those things. Now, I did, before, you know, I don't mean to be dragging all this up for you. I know this is a really is sensitive hard. time for you because, I, I, honestly, I'm, I'm just really thankful that you called in. But I, I really think that all the work you did was probably very useful on some level. I mean, I... I, I know that you don't think that the police did a lot, but I think you gave a lot of information to them, right? I mean, some, someone someone was getting all this information. Um, 
I mean, I, I have to have the utmost trust in in what in in the police and their investigation and what they do and and I get, I'm not privy to everything they do. Um, I have to have trust in that. Yeah. So it's. I mean, I don't. You know, know what I mean? It's like maybe it was some random, um, random event that that led the police to where she was, or somebody found her, and it was in the in the spring when there was still snow on the ground. And I mean, if right. anything. She- Kendra, you just kept the momentum going, right. and that's really important to keep the energy alive and keep the momentum going with all of these cases. Can I say something too? Mm-hmm. When, when absolutely, when I spoke to you at the beginning, like all the things that we ended up talking about later on, um, it didn't make sense, right? When I was trying to describe the road, and I was trying to like, correct. It never makes sense in a case, and this is what I want people to understand. When you're, like, the same things that I saw then, we saw again, and we were able to do on the podcast. But in the when you're looking, like, how could that be? Or what, that doesn't make sense. And yes. the water and the fuel, like, mm-hmm. when I was explaining that and the, you know, the markers, because that's what I get is markers, and I don't get anything, you mm-hmm. know, when people ask me to actually come to a site, I say no, because it's more distracting. Yeah. It's easier for me to just remote view by the phone mm-hmm. and just, you know, tap in. I would have never believed it until I saw this. I would wow. have been like, really? eh. I mean, it, yeah. Yeah. I have my notes from us talking it's crazy. the first time. I, wow. I wouldn't have yeah. remembered it. It's just astounding how clearly you could see it because it's, you described it exactly. I mean, it she sent, crazy. when, it's, when it's, she it's called hot. me, she sent me a, first of all, she said that when she got the news, there were three li- birds Aww. looking in the window at her and and um giving her a sign you know it, it was it awesome. was and then to look at the structures where it was it was like i told you this is where i was <laughs> 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 i mean that was sort of my instinct but but i think that it it really shows so this, is, this is crazy right because on the so when we first heard the new, well we didn't even know it was her at the time but right. there was an announcement that there had been um, something that was found and literally at the moment I got the phone call this cardinal came and sat in my window and stared me down at the moment my phone rang and just wow. stared me down for like 30 minutes and they said you know they had found this but they didn't know what it was and you know it was not confirmed at the time and I and I literally this bird was staring at me <laughs> like in my heart I know <laughs> yeah um, you do I know that sounds weird no Really? But, um, I, I knew wow. it was her. But, I I had total faith because I said I said if it's not her, I'm a monkey's uncle. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no way. That is what Susan said. I that's Susan's psychicness. Said, They've had by something, the way. and I know it's her. There's a bird staring at me in my window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There were there were um, three, and in that picture that you showed, I was going to put it up, but I didn't have time. The um, you can see the bird, and then you see two other little red spots. And if you look at the picture of where she was found, that's what it looks like. There's a large oh, red right? building, and yeah, then there's I two small that. red build. Yes, it was oh exactly. Gosh. Yeah, that's... and it was almost like right. I don't know. I know. Like she yeah. was like, Chills. here it is. I tried to show you. I mean, right. I think we could have. And that was literally like two days before we actually, it or a day before we actually had the confirmation. We didn't know, but I, you know, I, I texted Susan and said, I, I know. Like, yes. And she was like, if I was on a plane. Her. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> no, it, I, I totally know it was her. And the fact that she come, that spirit comes through so well for us when we don't expect it, you know, right. like that. Yeah. To be open yeah. to that is really, really incredible. But it was your heart though, Kendra. That made that happen by being uh, open to it. Well, not just mine. I, I, I do want to say there's a, you know, there's a whole bunch of other. Uh, obviously, you guys have been uh, through this for a year with me, and you know, Joe's daughter and her best friend, right, Ginger, and her, you know, some fr- like it, it takes a village. You know what I mean? Yes. And yes, um, absolutely. And you know what? Everything you do is is important. In in solving crimes and helping the future of Hatfield, which quite frankly, they're having more problems right now. Uh, we got a, we got a information that they found a, another dead body this week of a, of a burned man uh, who was, who was set on fire yeah. and found in the same area, which is, you know, alerting the Hatfield community, which, you know, God only knows what what's going on with that. Mm-hmm. But, 
Um, the funniest thing about it was Kendra brought it to my attention and I was reading the article last night and I looked down and the DA's assistant who reported its name was Mary Carey. Really? <laughs> yeah. So who would have thought that you were moonlighting as a DA's assistant? <laughs> exactly. It was me the whole time. Right. I've been keeping it a secret because I was afraid that, you know, people and now, to you know too much. I just, you I know feel, too much. I, I feel like Kendra, Kendra needs to connect with this person and maybe, you know, continue it's her. Really weird. Her investigation. That's really strange. Isn't that funny? That is strange. And you know, I, I, there are no coincidences in my world. Wow. And, and so it was kind of, it was kind of interesting. I agree with that. But I have a question: Did the police listen to I, a lot of I, the clues that were given from you guys? Did they? I don't know. I, don't know. I, I did want to ask. Like... Now, since Kalise and, and Jennifer and 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 y'all are there, I did. I did want to ask um, if if. If it was possible, if you if you sensed anything further in terms of um, kind of coming forward for us, if you can tap into that, what what did he do afterwards? Because I think that would be helpful for us. What did he do afterwards? Like, like now after that he's he... been found, I'll, I think that it would be helpful to know what what he did immediately following that. I see him going to another... F- I mean, it's known... Did the- he shoot himself? Is that what happened? Because I, s- I see him going to a female and telling her to leave. Oh. Um, and I believe I saw this before when we first looked into it. I do feel like this other person knows about it but didn't do anything, didn't do it, but knew about it. Um, in addition to that... That um, he, I don't know how to explain this. Um, I'll just tell you what I see. Um, like crystals being melted. So I'm assuming he took another hit of whatever it was he was taking. And then I see a lot of movement, which to me indicates violence. And I do feel that he had either a gun or a knife or both. So I don't know what we do know because I didn't really focus on him when people were talking about the case. But what I'm seeing clairvoyantly is that there was there was violence straight after but also drugs Mm -hmm. i do feel like you're going to start something in the name of her like a an awareness um dealing with either abuse Mm. or making more of an awareness of this and like um just because of what happened to her and how she didn't really Mm -hmm. didn't have an outlet does that make sense to you you're definitely sorry. Yes. Okay. You're definitely going to be writing the story. So whether that's as part of doing the foundation or actually publishing a daughter, book, yeah. I see the story going down on paper, um, and that it helps you. And it's it's weird because it's almost like you're. It's not weird. It's it's quite nice. It's it's that you're writing a story that's about her. That's almost yeah. a bit fictional. Are you writing a song about her? Is there music involved with her? <laughs> I know you're involved in music. Well, my- but, but is there a song? She keeps bringing the music to me. Um, <laughs> not, not, not currently, but you know that could know. be part of the story, though. Too. I was always it, bringing music. I'm, I'm, yeah, I when the youngest one turns fifteen, mm-hmm. I feel like you're going to leave it a couple years, give it some time, and that's actually the best thing for you mm-hmm. is to just have the moment now where Absolutely. you know experience the yeah. peace, let it all be settled. And then start working on the creativity mm-hmm. side of things when you feel inspired. Oh, and my condolences go out to your family. Uh-huh. It must be yeah. so hard. Like yeah. after you go through that and, you know, all those year, the whole year waiting to, to find her and then you do. And it's just sort of like the relief. Well, it's, it's realization that it actually happened yeah. and it, yeah. it, the mourning process is, you know, it just starts all over again. So that's true. But, you know, also the storyline behind this, I think, is also Joanne was a battered woman and she was in this relationship with this man who was a drug addict. Uh, he had um, she had tried to get away from him, I guess. And then she he had a new girlfriend and and he was abusive. And a lot of women I don't know if anybody recently saw the O.J. Uh, Simpson confession, but um it's it's just tragic that women go through this and there's nothing they can do. 
until it's too late. So uh-huh. I, it, I think also as, as I was a trauma survivor in that situation, and I'm sure all of us have had some kind of experience with that. On some level, um, I don't know, Mary, if you've ever had any abusive relationships. Yeah, no, I was actually, Kendra, you remember Harold, Kendra? <laughs> but, um, I do. Yes, yes, he was definitely, yeah. Very, yeah. And, and it was just... hard to leave, you know, and finally I did. But and even when I finally kicked him out, he still went back and hit me. And Well, and there's the, yeah. the emotional manipulation as well as the physical side. Yeah. That's like the hardest part. Yeah. yeah. And, it, you know, it's it, when we see something tragic like this. It well, really and after a period to... of time, like they just make you feel, like you know, crazy. like. There's nothing but them, mm-hmm. you know. Right. They make you feel small. Yeah, you disappear that, as a person. You know, and the longer you stay, the more you disappear. Your, your self-esteem yeah. is gone. Mm-hmm. And and I think, so to speak to what you said earlier, yes, I think that there does have to be more attention, um, you know. And, and I've seen it throughout what I've endured this year going through this. I've seen so many people say, well, why didn't she leave? Why didn't... Like victim shaming no, is so not, that not easy. Yeah. it's not the answer. Um, you know, when when women are in this, they they don't know how to get out there. And it's, a, it's, like it's an addictive cycle. It is, so. it's and an I think that's important cycle. to speak to. You're yeah. you're you become you get you become so small. You you think that it's your fault, and you love the person, and, and they you, are the world. So you don't see that there's another world out there, and you can't imagine how you would fit into that world even if it were there, because you're just in the zone. You know, uh-huh. happens a lot. It really does. Now, the fact that they were also involved in drugs may, you know, be another part of it because apparently uh, meth is something that makes people snap mm. in the heat of passion and kill other people. So we think O.J. Simpson may have been on meth oh, wow. and uh, or cocaine or both. Um, he talked about how he he kind of blacked out and he and his friend Charlie and that might have been like his drugs and how uh, you know you don't you don't even know you're doing it and the remorse afterwards um, causes you to want to commit suicide which is something else that OJ Simpson wanted to do he was driving with AJ Crowley in the car and he wanted he with a gun to his head and you know and that was similar to what um, Kendra's sister ex-husband went through he was he was suicidal and he killed himself so <clears throat> and it you know the whole drug involvement in it is also part of it so right and I feel bad for Kendra because she's out in Massachusetts looking for this woman you know her loved one <clears throat> and you know it's one of those things where the the perpetrator is is passed so it's not really worth it for the police to really try that yeah. hard and because That's not okay. and then it's just a they call it you know just another dead drug addict you know yeah. what I mean it is yeah. amazing how law enforcement how many how many cases I've worked on where if they do have a drug pass they don't we don't give it yeah. they don't look for it now really. I'm just curious but if this I don't know. this <laughs> new guy we don't know what who, else who they with. found in the in the <laughs> same area was in the same drug ring or why would somebody just come up you know so, another body in the same area yeah area. I feel it's not related but I felt it was a known dumping spot so I don't know if it's become a known dumping spot or if it has been mm. a known dumping spot for getting rid of bodies but as soon as I heard that there'd been another body I was like it's not the same people because with the the Joe Joe stuff, it's like a feminine and a masculine energy, whereas with this one it was I feel oh, like I've masculine. got two guys throwing yeah. But didn't body. it say yeah, that right? um Joe's yeah. ex or husband was connected with the Hell's Angels or something? I think I read that. Oh, I didn't know about I that. I feel like I read that in an article. I'm just wondering Maybe, but this one well, definitely felt well, like it was younger. Joe yeah. was was very against uh drugs. I, I don't know. Yeah. You know, like we've we've talked about this before obviously. Um with Chad. I mean there's been differing stories with that um but um but this spot particularly where they i know where they just found somebody you know they, i have you know, such a small town mm-hmm. and like i i think these two things have really um kind of set the town off because this doesn't typically happen there you know um right it's out so, in the middle of nowhere 
It's the sticks <clears throat> of Massachusetts. I mean, it's I, strange. It's, it's, <laughs> really such a small town. it's very small community, and it's very you know. I'm not yeah. saying the town's strange. I'm just saying that it'll happen. It's a college town, town, town. You know, it's it's not to insult the town. Strange. Oh, it's just oh, where <laughs> Amherst is. Oh no, okay. my my son hated it there. He oh. was like, oh god, it's just. I mean, you had to drive <laughs> so far to get there, and <laughs> right. it was snowy all the time. It was freezing cold in the winter. You yeah, know, that's why they couldn't find her for a long. It gets cold. Yeah. Yeah. It can't search from November to to February. It's just incredibly in, icy and cold. In case anyone's interested, just a thing to add, I feel like below the, zero cold, <laughs> that cold Fahrenheit. <laughs> to the the body, the burned body of the guy, I feel like that's to do with owing money, and that there was money owed that never got paid. So, just oh really? In case that mm-hmm. case starts, well, that could up be drugs too. To yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I got a feeling there's a meth thing going on out there. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to use my spidey pretty, sense on this it's one. A pretty, yeah, sense. pretty good prediction. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's I knew route nine. Accurate. I knew what route because I've been on that road, and it's a, not an easy one to drive. Mm. Good way to, good place to get rid of a body so anyways also can i just say that you susan are like one of the most psychic people i know like every single time <laughs> Thank i'm having you. anxiety or thinking about something my phone will get a text and it's like susan she's texting me about legitimately <laughs> <Yeah. me. laughs> <laughs> wait a minute you have psychic but abilities too for real What's that? But you have psychic abilities. She's very intuitive. She does, but no, she just she I'm, says she's I would be so much. I would have been texting her way more. Kendra, <laughs> Kendra, that was fr- that was something you said about me, and uh. I really appreciate that. It's I, true. I'm, every time, it's like it's so I'm true. Yeah. Here wow. Thinking about, and then she will text me. And it will be the exact. I'm like, I was just about to text you. Yeah, but she'll text um, you the thing you were going to so text her too, which is even more creepy. I'm not so psychic. Weird, Susan. I'm not I psychic. It. I'm, I'm just. <laughs> I'm intuitive. I'm a mom. She literally I'm, is. She I'm a mom. I got eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> Triplet mom. Triplet mom. Yes. Yeah. That counts. Now, that counts I, for more. listen, I'm connected That's with true. all of you guys in every That's, way. I feel all yeah. your love and all your pain and all your anxiety because I, I, I mean, I'm connected to you because I've, I've been hanging out with you so much. And I, yeah. I know that, you know, this was probably one of the most traumatic things I've ever experienced, though. I was, like, crying the other night when, mm. when we were talking about this. And it's, yeah. it's extremely important that when you're in a situation like this, that you reach out and you get the help that you need you from the authorities. If your husband beats you up, you call the police. You report it. Um, hopefully, you know, with the whole Me Too movement, we'll be able to, you know, actually hear it, have our voices heard, you know, before right. we're found dead in, in some place. But anyways, I'm, I want to I want to take a break and um, I want to come back. And Kendra, you're you're welcome to stay, but you're such a strong soul and you're you're everything that you're doing. Keep doing it. Um, we adore you, Kendra. Oh, Kendra, yeah. I'm going to be in Nashville in May. I'd love to see you. Yeah, I just remembered. Well, I love you guys, and I want. To <laughs> I'm say, sorry, I had like, to tell her before you... I forget. And my, everyone's saying bye. And my, I'm like, I'll be in Nashville. One of my tech guys here <laughs> is is actually going to Nashville. He wants to know if you'll show him around in the next couple uh-huh. of days. <laughs> <laughs> He goes. I want to go. I'll meet. Ne- I'll meet Kendra. Would she show me around the town? His name's John. I'll give. I'll, Absolutely. I'll, I'll hook you guys up. Um, but um, we're going to take a miss. Kendra. Thanks for letting but us. But I did want to say this. I, I, I really want to make this clear because I, I this was important to me coming into this. A lot of people said, like, why are you going to do this tonight? It's too soon. It's too much. It's whatever. <clears throat> the importance to me is how hard and dedicated. Y'all have been throughout this past year and really, really, like, calling me even on the sidelines when we're not, you know, on air and saying, this is what I'm seeing or this is what I'm feeling and whatever. Y'all have been such a support and so much strength to me. And what you've said has been, you've never led me wrong, okay? Oh, thank so thank you. Thank I, you. I just, coming into this tonight, I, that, that is the reason that I did this. Aww. This evening is because I I absolutely believe in everything that you've done thus far and in your spirit and your souls and in helping get through this. And so I just wanted to thank you all because you have you have been amazing Aww. and the work that you do is sometimes underappreciated. But it is 
Well, these Absolutely. guys, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can only thank facilitate you. the the genius here. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. And thanks for having us on the case. Thank really, you. Like yeah. It. I mean, it was really interesting to me, and I I am in. I'm happy to help to that open. we can use the abilities we have for stuff like this. You it's know? good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. So we're going to take breaks. Hang around, Facebook <laughs> people. We're going to we're going to be back. We'll take a few calls. I know I've had some people on hold for a really long time that want to call in, but we're going to talk to Mary Carey. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm like, when? When? <laughs> 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 Sorry. I feel like we should make... You know, Mary can't be there and not get any attention, right? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I just... I need to know stuff. I want to talk... To, yeah, okay. I just want to know <laughs> stuff. We'll be back. We'll be back. I was at a party last night with my girlfriends and we were all talking about how when you reach that certain age, all things start changing. Changes in libido, energy, and metabolism. And then there are hot flashes. Bergafem actually helps me with the hot flashes. Bergafem is an all-natural dietary supplement made with the extracts from the bergamot citrus fruit, which is also known to have properties that can improve cardiovascular function. Additionally, it can help fight high blood pressure, high cholesterol, high blood sugar, and abdominal fat. What makes Bergafem different is its combination of natural ingredients specifically formulated for women facing menopause. I've been taking Bergafem for about a year now, and I've noticed increased energy and libido, and a serious reduction in hot flashes. Between that and what I know it can do for my cholesterol and blood pressure, I'm sold. It's safe, all natural, and there are no side effects. For a limited time, our listeners can save 10% on their order by entering code Dr. Drew at checkout on drdrew.com. That's D-R-D-R-E-W. To learn more about Bergafem, please also visit bergamet.com. That's B-E-R-G-A-M-E-T dot com today. Be sure to talk to your physician before right. you use any Bergamet products. In fact, before you use any product or supplement, be sure to talk to your doctor. There's a piece of paper with a fucking product. Hey, we're back, and I have uh, something to say about Facebook Live. Anybody who's watching on Mary Carey's uh, Facebook Live, we really appreciate it. Um, and she's, you know, she was very nice to share with you. How many followers do you have? Because you know, um, I don't, I have, I set up as a regular page, not a fan oh, okay. page. So it's just got it's the five thousand friends and like twenty one thousand followers. That's pretty good. That's what I wanted to do on Instagram. Wow. Instagram, I had the two hundred and five thousand. I'm gonna. That's we're, still great. We're trying to work on the technical stuff yes. to um, to <laughs> share it on my page because that's where the callers are. But if you do want to call in, where's that phone number that I had on the piece <clears> of paper? <throat> oh gosh. Nobody called. 626. I'm just kidding. 334. Oh. Wow. Catch. That was a good catch. 636 334 3999. Yeah, 636 334 Now, I think that's on the top of the page, but if you want to call in <clears throat> and get a quick psychic reading, we do have a couple people on hold. Nobody you can wants wait on a hold reading. for Is hours. Kendra, Kendra, are you still there? I'm here. I'm just listening now. Okay. It's Mary's okay. turn. Okay. Yes, Kendra. Okay. Kendra's so funny. So um, I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna change the camera over to these three, <clears throat> and um, do a quick little uh, recap of what Mary has gone through since her last reading here. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And cut That's me crazy. out of the shot so I can oh, play on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Which Which camera? Yeah. Looking at? Where, where are we? <laughs> You're over here. Which one's my camera? You guys ready for me? Are you ready for your call? Your angle. <laughs> I'm ready to share my experience, strength, and hope. Okay, okay, so that's so I'll still be talking. You just won't be able to see <clears throat> okay. me. So Mary okay. Mary was uh, here with Gina Grad yes. on a previous show. Oh, and yes. she had a psychic reading and she had a she had a previous boyfriend at that time and he was sitting in the room and Oh no, he was, isn't here that time. He came the time before when I was with Drew. Oh, oh okay. But we talked about him a lot. Oh yeah. Oh, because oh, I would because you kept known telling that. me you kept telling me he wasn't the one and I, I and, <laughs> and, and I thought he wasn't in the you. room because I couldn't yes. see you. I was just on I the kept wanting you to change your answer. So you would go on talking about something else and I'd be like, but wait a minute, but wait a minute, let's go yes. back. And then I even tried to like, when you said that he was really into fancy things, I was like, well, his family's really rich, but like, yeah, you were trying to make it fit. Yes. I was trying to make it You're fit. You're like, well, I could 
be on the right thing and yeah. I'm like sorry I'm no sorry. yeah every sorry. and then <laughs> yeah and then I was I remember I was very upset I think I was crying when you told me oh, that it wasn't sorry. him and then when you talked about something else again and I was like oh wait what about and then you're like he's he's right for now <laughs> But he's not the right one. Yeah. But he says I'm going to get married right again. Right now. Meet Khalees the dream crusher. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm so glad like you I were... I was trying to get you to no. focus on the good things that were coming, <laughs> no. not the, the things that were breaking you, And apart. what did you... <laughs> do you remember what you told her? I have no... No, no I never remember because it just okay. kind of like comes what did, through What did she me. say? What, what okay, well, then you were saying that... I was going to um, meet someone that was going to um, – you said I wasn't going to pay attention to him at first. Yes. You said something like – I don't know. I didn't quite understand what that meant. But that, like you're like going to – he's going to George Costanza you. Oh. <laughs> Which I, I didn't did quite, say that. But now what exactly I, does that mean? Okay. So um, I have been uh, – I don't know if someone – sorry. I think someone explained it to me where they said that basically they wear you down. Okay. So I think his move was that he would just ask women out over and okay. over and over until they just said, yes, okay, fine, I'll go out with okay. you. It was something like that. I mean, it's definitely way more George subtle. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but it's like a thing in New awesome. York. Like it's it's that like a yeah. term that you use to explain how someone that's worked that's out. So funny. Yeah. Well, when I, I met, uh, well, who knows? Maybe this guy I'm with now is still not the right one. I don't know. But well, I'm, I'm piecing it together from. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe there's maybe there's, maybe there's another person because we'll, I, when we'll I first met look. him, I didn't. I okay, met don't him. tell her anything. Oh, okay, don't. Yeah, tell don't tell me. But it was very okay. That's not how it works. Oh, okay. You've been here before. I understand, but I'm excited. We were saying earlier. That, that I had told you you were going to meet someone fancy. You said like fancy things, and you yeah. said I was going to wonder. Um, you, I was going to wonder how I ever like. At first, I was going to ignore him, but then I was going to wonder how I was ever living without him. And did this and then, happen? Yes. And you said I was going to have a. You could see me having a really good, nice life with him. You're like you're going to have a really good life, um, a much better like quality life than you've <laughs> lived. Easier, easier. easier. Yeah, yeah, you said those things, and yeah. so. And um, yeah, no, I mean. The, so I, interestingly, how do you feel now looking back on the one that didn't work out? Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I mean, I look at it as if it wasn't for staying though in that situation. I always go back to what you had said. It's right for now. Yeah. I was like, well, maybe she meant that <laughs> it was right. Like if I would have broken up with them, then I would yes. have maybe not been single when I had met Joe. And this so is- I look at it as I keep telling myself I stayed there and wasted another six months of my life because <laughs> I had to get to Joe. So, yeah. right. okay. No more information. When you said, like, you said I was going to meet the person from a foundation or something I was working in, and now I realize that it was, I was very involved with promises in their, oh, very nice. heavily involved with promises on their event planning committee of the rehab, and I had met him that's right. at the event, like at the um, at the barbecue I helped plan for promises. It was a so uh, at first I was like I'm not involved. In, I kept being like I'm not involved in a foundation, but then I was like, wait a minute, I'm actively yeah, involved actively. in promises and yeah, the rehab. Yeah. So and it was the it was the um, picnic for promises, and it was through there I'd met him. So. It's a cool part of a reading yeah. when we yeah. teach clients things about themselves they don't even know. Yeah. Because yeah. we obviously know nothing about you. And yeah. then you're like, oh, I do work for a foundation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and it's so, interpretation too. Yeah. So, yeah. so. Absolutely. Okay. Good job, so Dream exciting. Crusher. <laughs> no, I'm just so glad she was wrong about Zach. Yeah. Zach <laughs> I really you... tried to make it work, too. I was like, fancy? It was Zach's fancy, but really not, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the family's got money, but he's not fancy, you know. Yeah. Well, let's see, that's the thing. And, and you try to give someone accurate information right. without killing their dreams. You know, <laughs> right. By saying, no, wait, something great's coming, and then they'll focus on the one thing that they want to be true. And I'm like, right. just please be patient, because this is going to work out the and way. And you said you saw me getting married, and I was like thinking, oh, good, married to Zach. <laughs> But you're like, good. you're like, no, it's no. Like, and I didn't ask if She's I was like, going to get no. married. You were like, I think you've been married before. And I was like, I, I have. Okay. And they're like, well, I see another marriage. Right. And so I was like, oh, but and I kept thinking it's for Zach. And yeah, but you know, no, but I'm glad it wasn't. I'm very happy. So exactly. <laughs> yeah. I knew you would be. That's <laughs> all. <laughs> so I, unless we, there's another person down the line that's going to I don't this. know maybe we should okay. <laughs> switch over to Jen and let her tune okay. in for a little bit because she's never on, read Joe. you before okay. <laughs> so, and then after that I can add bits that come oh, yeah. up so yeah why don't uh, if my grandparents come around anywhere let me your know grandparents come around okay. well they were like my parents they might come through as parents because they raised me right. but I don't know just so you guys okay, know let's if see. they're around let's see um, <laughs> okay let's go into that I or first... his sister could be around <laughs> I don't know in case they're floating around anywhere. I don't know if they're floating. Hold on, hold on. She's going to start. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to make you laugh. Let it start. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. No, so first I was, when I uh, first, when we first sat down, I was tapping into your health and I was getting how bad, like everything was in your neck, in Mm -hmm. your lower back, right? Um, And then, and that's just a way that I tap in. And then when you, (laughs) because you were so excited to be here, (laughs) um, I do feel when it comes to 
this relationship, I do feel like you're fulfilled. I feel like you're happy. You're like little, you're excited. You feel like a little puppy. That's how I am. Okay. I feel like that. Um, <laughs> then I also feel that you are very excited to get on with it. You get on with your life, like get on with kids, having kids. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you've had concerns, um, but, uh, I do feel you with a boy. Like I feel this little boy that's around you. It doesn't. So when I feel energy like that, mm-hmm. um, hold on one second. I don't know why. I get, is there any twins in your family? Are there twins around him? Uh-oh. Uh, that's what I want. I want twins. You want I twins? Do I, want twins. I, I do want see twins. I do see twins. You see twins? <laughs> Not twins, but oh, I see two. Twins. She she sees twins. twins. So it could I be. I see something could be. that's, cl- I think something that is, um, Can I add to that while you're tuning yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. Because I definitely see we that it's going to gonna be um, either cesarean or something assisted. I want a cesarean. Yeah, it's not going <laughs> to be. No, I'm not kidding. We've already talked about that. It's not going to be a natural that. birth. I'm planning. I want twins and a cesarean. They, yeah. yeah. Well, if you have twins, so, you have to get a cesarean sometimes, but you can't just get a cesarean because you want a cesarean. You can have an elective cesarean. No, you can't. Yes, you can. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> what about if you're marrying a doctor? Can't the doctor make well, the other doctor? Maybe. I thought you could. <laughs> an elective cesarean. Oh, well. Maybe each country is different. I, oh, no. Um, you're going to have in vitro. I think Susan twins. can speak That's to that. <laughs> oh, wait, Kendra. <laughs> She's seeing it too. Her psych- Go ahead. Susan's psychic abilities. Yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm part of the Vaginal Preservation Society, so I'm all for cesarean. <laughs> the VSS? It's a oh, the beautiful VPS. thing. Yeah. Yeah, it, you know. I'm just marrying a doctor. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Kendra. That's funny. That's funny. Have you changed the location of your thoughts about your wedding? Okay, yeah, we've been going back and forth right. we, because we've originally thought of, you know, his, we wanted to just do like a little small destination right. wedding. His family kind of pressured him into a bigger, bigger wedding, wedding, and now it seems like it's getting bigger, which now him and I have decided we want to maybe just do something small. What should we do? What do you see? Sorry, I'm like. It's big, it's like right in the middle. Okay. And it feels like more family. Like it feels like yeah, more that's of what a family. That's what it feels like um, to be all his family. I have no family. But so. I feel like if you don't invite certain people, they're just going to show up anyway. Okay. Ooh. They're wow. Like, like yeah. they would show up anyway as friends because okay. they love you so much. Oh, okay. wow. That's nice. You know? Yeah. Um, it's going to be in the... Uh, have you guys thought about Vegas? You haven't thought about Vegas, Mm-mm. have you? Mm-mm. What's in the desert then that I'm picking up on? Hmm. Because I see part of, like, did you have something the with honeymoon? the location? <laughs> I saw like, sand. I saw a beach. So I wonder cliff. if. Oh, I yes. want to have a beach wedding. Yes, because I, wanted, I okay. saw it on an but island. That would be if we did a destination. We were thinking okay, I originally so wanted a beach that's wedding. That's what I'm so saying because it's like, higher up, but it's okay. got water. Yeah, so I'm seeing a cliff too. But maybe but there's I'm like an engagement getting... party in Vegas or like a, like a bachelorette to... in Vegas or something that you're picking Closer up. to a family. Okay. Closer to a family. The the beach part or the? No, the other part. Okay. It's the thing. It just, it's, okay. I just saw a desert. Yeah. It felt like, um, mm. and it could be, um, hold on. You don't even want an engagement party. I know. Like, we don't yeah. really. Oh, no, they're a waste of time. I don't. Yeah. I want to just. <laughs> you just want to get on with well, it. Well, because I just want a lot of presents I didn't, I'm not a very good planner. And then planning the wedding thing and invite. Like at first I was like, oh, I don't have anyone to invite. And then every day I remember more people to yeah, invite. Yeah. And it's just starting to get. Yeah. Are you filming that part? Am I filming or are filming? you going to get somebody to film just even the planning part for you? I haven't thought about that yet, but I probably should. Maybe. I don't know. What do you I? think, Kendra? Is she around? Do we lose her? Kendra? She just passed out. It's later there. Uh, <laughs> fair enough. I'm here. Well, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I think I just have a latency. Um, I think Mary is, I think everything you're saying is correct. Mary is. Uh, probably like very undecided <laughs> about multiple things. She knows I don't like planning things. I'm not a when it comes to like I, no, I said a lot planning. of people coming. He's like, let's just do it now. Yeah, right. it'll yes. be a younger like crowd, a like puppy. it's a party crowd. Okay, so okay. you're getting married. You're having twins. You're getting a. Cesarean. Is it with Joe? Is it with Joe? Oh, God, he's in the room. Wait, so what? They agreed I, I to this, me. I see yes, it's okay, Joe. if it's Joe, put a, so he doesn't hear. If it's Joe, put a one. If it's not Joe, put a two. And I won't show any emotion. And who's Zach? Okay. I'm totally kidding. I know oh. that was your first question. <laughs> totally kidding. Oh, totally it's kidding. Joe. She says it's Joe. Wait, it's Joe? Yeah! Okay, so Joe, you, uh, we need to have a talk with Joe. Okay. Yeah. 
later. Hey, <laughs> hey, thanks for joining us. I have a bone to pick with you. <laughs> and there comes, and there comes kid number one. Yeah. Exactly. Well, it's, you know, I congratulations on your engagement, too. I'm really excited for you. Thank I'm you. glad you didn't stay with the other guy. Um, <laughs> Hold on. The day, happier the day is close to a birthday. It's either like the day you got engaged or the day you get married is close to one of your birthdays. There's a that's big my, anniversary. Let's see, my birthday is June. Okay, so this is my so July 7th. On? Okay, so July 7th is when we were thinking. And July 8th is my grandmother's My grandmother's okay. my mom's birthday. Yes, yeah. that's why. Because I've got it on the same day as the birthday. Yeah, yeah. she'll be she'll be proud. Really? Yeah, she's yeah. doing it before the oh, birthday. Because so so she's, she's talking about the fact she's going to get older. You can hear right now? Yeah, and the, the, there's going to be... Um, did she play with her teeth when she got really old? Did she? That's have, why you said that last time. And I don't... Could this be dad's mom? I don't... See, I wouldn't know her. That's the same. I'm just, okay, I just let, got let me tell you. I, I feel I've got dad's ancestry. mom. She's pulling her teeth out, putting them back in. I should in. find out because I... Well, <laughs> no, no, that's I'm just, my mom. Uh... Definitely for her, but your mom probably did. My Susan mother, always thinks everything's her. No, my oh, mom had dentures. <laughs> but your mom comes to always like a cigarette. I, I have all my teeth, she... by the way. I just want everybody to know. Everything's real <laughs> really from like start. her down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. You're like, Susan's hijacking my reading. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to Jen for a sec. <laughs> no, it's it's Wait, so okay. I want, because, okay, so my grandma, well, that's funny. The teeth thing, I don't know if it would be my this, dad's side. This feels like it's your dad's side. But it's my grandmother's, but, my grandmother I was raised by, who's like my mom, July 8th was her birthday. Yeah. And there's mm. a feeling that that has to happen uh. before the birthday because the ninth, there's, there's something wrong with the ninth. Hmm. So there's like something happens in your life on the ninth where you need to be married before that. And it's not like, oh my God, you're going to get yeah. deported because you're American. But um, <laughs> it's something that's like, you've got to be, it's a timing issue. Don't make it any later. Oh no. No, it's a good thing. It's okay. like an exciting thing. Maybe you should like go to you Vegas. Want to travel it could be first. We have it, I mean, it, right now we have a location. Be, you it paid could for be first July comes 7th. baby, then comes marriage. <gasps> yes. No, no, we're getting married July 7th. <laughs> or sooner. <laughs> but you see, then maybe on July 9th you find out you're pregnant or something. Oh, okay. It's something like that where it's like, whoa, okay. like we got married two days ago. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. heaven forbid. Maybe you'd get twins. twins. <laughs> or you're just going to have There's two babies back to back. Close together. At yeah. like 38 and then... 40 or something. Oh my God. I'd rather just get pregnant once. Yeah, but yeah, no, it could you just don't. be back to back no. one really long one. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. Uh, trust me. One at a time. You but, think so? But listen, if you get two at a time, I'm not going to be mad. Yeah. But I just She'll would, write you a letter. <laughs> one baby is a lot of work. Well, we're going to have help. Yeah. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Still, yeah, I still. Your husband said, "As long as I have help, I'm okay." All right, all right. <laughs> Drew always agrees with you. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. <laughs> so funny. And then I said, "What about triples?" He's like, "Oh, talk to Susan about that no. one." No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I can see you <laughs> saying when when I was trying to get pregnant, um, I had five embryos implanted. Oh, and wow. that was back in the day when they went, "Oh, we'll just throw five embryos in because that's what you works. got here." Yeah. If I had thirty, they would have thrown those oh, in too. No. Wow. And uh, I was pregnant. Uh, four actually took. And then I, one just kind of dissipated into the uterus at a certain point. But I felt so much weight lifted when I found out it was only three. three not five. And then, what would you have crazy. done if you were going to be a Quinto mom? I would have had them. I, I don't. I am totally pro life, so I would. But it, yeah. there was a big controversy about it and how we were going like to deal in with it. For like eight because months. it's hard on your marriage. I mean, it's yeah. impossible. Well, I mean, how I survive this? Kids time. separately, one at a time. <laughs> Very hard. <laughs> Very, kids in general are hard. <laughs> but I don't know. I yeah, got lucky. Wait. I, <laughs> I you know. I'm really excited. For you it. know, and the other thing is when you have multiples, you know, you have a higher risk of having you know problems because yeah. you know you got two babies in there, and then you're older, and then also the fact that you can't go full term, and you know it's, you mm-hmm. have have to be yeah. very careful and hopefully you know him being a medical doctor will be helpful because you'll mm-hmm. know you know how to take care of yourself and yeah. and you know there are a lot of risks but if you want a baby mm-hmm. you know i i hope you have one two is okay mm-hmm. three's a lot no i'm not gonna do three <laughs> but, I, yeah. a, but I, I don't think they car. they implant like two now yeah I mean, it just that's... depends and i think you should like i said you should film y'all can i just tell you one thing film your journey. Sure. um lucas and i when we when we were trying very hard we went to, we were doing the same thing, and uh, as it turned out, it didn't work, but later on in life, uh, when when our doctor stopped seeing us, we found out it was because his medical license was canceled because he was the doctor for Optimum, so oh. we were very grateful in the end. 
Oh, wow. wow. Well, I have some really great news. Wow. <laughs> We've had people waiting on the line no! all day. <laughs> Hang up, people. <laughs> <laughs> we get you for dinner. <laughs> yeah, come I have go. dinner with us. Come and then we'll talk I'll, I'll tell you more about okay. the sports car that I'm I'll saying, be off okay. camera, but I'll, I'll still be Wait, you see a sports car? Yeah. Wait, is it his Porsche? Is it red? It works out. I have a red Corvette. Oh, that's probably what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I want his sister to... Well, no, I want to talk to my grandparents more. I don't know. Come to dinner. Okay. We're go- Can you go too? Yeah. yeah we're going to dinner after this, Joe. <laughs> yes, we are. We're all going out to dinner. I owe everybody dinner now. After this dinner. Yes. Oh, my <laughs> yeah, God. Double bonus. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I haven't had enough yet. So, Kendra. Do the readings with us. Kendra. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... Add a caller on here, but I hope. See, we're testing all these new things today, and we're so mad. This Did wasn't you... even on my Facebook Live oh, tonight, so <laughs> <laughs> no. it is but now. Basically, you all might hang up on me. It is now, well, I, Kendra. Be... You're going to be reading the person's calling. That's what we're going to test out. Okay, so there are people <laughs> who have been listening. How psychic everyone else. Here's is. the best part. There's uh-huh. been people on the line listening to us actually go through all the. All the problems that we've had here, technically, so the whole time. And I am, and and I am recording up. this, so we could probably. Uh, Ooh, I've said a lot of things. I know. I'm trying to think of the stuff we've been saying. My friend Michelle Poe just said, said something words. on my thing. She said the sound is really <laughs> fucked up too. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we pay you the big bucks. <laughs> we're we're hoping. I I'm hoping that it we can figure out everything because I really like this platform. Anyways, okay, so I'm going to take a caller <laughs> who's been on for 37 minutes. Oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Um, wait, no, there's a woman who's been on for 54 minutes, and she was making dinner. I don't know. She might be eating dinner. Who's the you? Okay, I'm going to take her. <laughs> Something I don't have. Hello. Yes. It's Susan, 1923. Is this, are you still there? Or are you doing dishes now? <laughs> hello hello hi it's susan from calling out with susan pinsky can you hear me um, this is mary hi mary how are you we're we're here fine with how are you oh we're good thank you for listening for so long i'm gonna ask i guess i'm sorry i was confused i didn't know i was online yet <laughs> yeah, it's Aww, okay. that's, we're just sense. glad that you can hear us i'm i'm not sure if anybody can hear I us i can anywhere else but thank you for calling and um i'm here with Kali simone and jennifer schaefer today hi, and mary. also we have kendra uh-huh. j rossi on the line too say hi kendra. what about me i'm not here hi and mary carey hello <laughs> it's like it's a mary carey too. yeah, yeah. <laughs> just leaving me out oh yeah no i mean it's psychic. Oh, oh but mary carey is my <laughs> co-host today and she just oh wait kendra's psychic too apparently yeah. <laughs> You oh. could actually, you could actually hear us the whole time, right? Could you hear us on the phone talking? I, I could, yes. Wow, so <laughs> <Sorry>. good. <laughs> so, Mary, I've I've spoken to you before on Colby's show, correct? This is Jennifer Schaefer. Have I spoken? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. No. Sure. Well, it looks like I'm out. Yeah. Do you want? Do you want to no, Go ahead. Oh, um, okay. Hi, Mary. It's Kalisa Simone. I'm kind of new to calling in, but. Um, that's all right. You're doing a good job. I mean, you already yes. got the whole... Okay, you just you tell me thing. what I'm supposed to say or do. Thank you. Okay, well, I'm, you, you just say yes if you understand what I'm talking about. And you can just say I'm not sure if you're not sure, and I'll just still finish the message. Um, so I do okay. feel there's a bit of a heaviness in your chest at the moment, not so much physically, could be emotionally. Um, and I feel like I'm, a, I'm sort of mourning. So I don't know if you're mourning the loss or mourning a tragedy, but would that make sense that something has just happened that's leaving a heaviness around you at the moment? Mm-hmm. That's okay. true. Yeah. Um, you, you would benefit from um, taking time to actually work through these emotions because I do feel you're trying to be very, um, and I can say this because of my own cultural background, you're trying to be very British about it. You're trying to keep like all, you know, just soldier on through, walk it off. You don't have to do that. I feel you have to go and deal with this issue and I feel that it requires some attention. Um, am I correct that it involves contracts, paperwork or some kind of legal aspect? It's okay uh, no. if it doesn't. Okay. Um, I'm no, not seeing that, no. Know that I see a lot of paperwork around it and I feel that there's work that you can go back and sort through in order to find a resolution or to help move this on through. I just feel like there's some part to play that um, will help. Uh, there's something more you can do and that you have to let yourself mourn the loss of what you thought you had and then you have to move forward through it. So it's almost like there's an admin side and an emotional side that needs to be dealt with. Does that make sense? 
It does. Okay. Uh Okay. Also, I feel like there's stress around money with you. So do you understand that? Uh, A little, right. Know that the money's bottlenecking, but it hasn't stopped. So the supply might have Mm -hmm. slowed down, but that doesn't mean you're not going to get any more money in the future. It's just slowing down now Good. because okay. of your energy. It's it's like because your energy is frozen with the trauma you're going through, everything around you, spirit's like keeping everything at bay so that you can breathe and focus on healing and then everything's going to go back into full swing the way it was. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Now, is there someone specific you wanted to connect to today? If is so, your just father, tell is us your the father first name. Is your father around you? I guess my mother maybe um, just – I don't know if you ever, I always kind of feel she's around me. So I don't know if you feel her or see her or anything she might like to say to me. Am I correct in saying that her name ends in E, like Joni or Janie or Jerry or something like that? I could um, be getting someone else if it's I'm not her. No, okay. I'm, I'm, like I'm trying to think who that might be. No, but that no that it, my specific mother Cindy. was not. It was, okay. Uh, it could be her sister Winnie. Cindy. I don't know. Cindy. Know that that name comes oh. through in case it means something to you later on. Um, but I actually feel just from my spirit guides that when you see feathers or that you will see feathers, they are from your mother. Really? I just saw a couple too the other day. Yeah, yeah, it's it just like came from out of the sky out of nowhere on a snowy day. It was <laughs> yeah. really weird. Yeah. That's because she needed to talk to you. Were you were you talking out loud really? to her that day? Because I've got you walking along talking out loud and that it's her saying you need to just know that you're safe and that everything's okay. Almost like a reassurance message. Wow. Well, I'm going to look for that. Okay. Yeah, and you've been asking her to be around you, correct? Yeah, I always do. You know, yeah. she's been deceased for a long time, but, you know, she's always been a part of my life. Yeah, and do you have something close to your, like either a necklace from her or something close to your heart of first? Uh, I don't have it on now, but I do. You do? I, feel like you I can, do have something. I feel like you connect with that, like when you hold something of hers. Mm-hmm. Like a, na- mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm seeing like a, not a napkin, but what are those? Uh, a serviette. A serviette or a what? tissue? Tissue? Like you know those those old, um, do you know what cloth tissues? Oh, handkerchief. The handkerchief. So handkerchief. I'm oh, sorry. okay. <laughs> Thank you, Kendra. <laughs> sorry. About that. Like that, that's all. <laughs> Thank There's you. something like the texture wise, like a doily or something like that that she that she get, you have of hers that she uses that you use. Or that you, that's mm-hmm. around you. And there's also something. Did she collect like teacups or something like china? Did she she loves tea. She, she likes to drink tea. tea. Oh, yeah. Okay, good woman. And there's mm-hmm. always something reading. You do either she did a lot of reading or you do a lot of reading. Correct. <clears throat> like I she, think she did. Yeah, I think we do. I, I'm more computer, but I think she was more of a reader because it was you know many years ago before computers okay. when she passed away. And there's something about her cooking too. Did she leave like? I mean, I could be seeing a cookbook. I don't know if she's telling you to cook. Maybe that's it. <laughs> I, I kind of agree. Uh, okay, I she's have like, to you agree need, on that. Was, you need to cook more. Cook yeah. more and more healthy. I feel that your mother would never have eaten out or brought anything pre- right. prepared. She was, you know, she's very traditional. That's everybody's mm-hmm. mother in those days. <laughs> that's true. Uh, yeah. It was, all in, her, it was all in her head, and she was just a little this and a little of that. You know, so yeah. she never wrote anything down. But Got it. But we kind of managed to put things together as a remembrance. And there's something with flowers. She loved flowers as well. Roses. Yeah. Roses were her thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. She loves Mm -hmm. you. She's around you a lot. Mary, did you want to ask us anything specifically today? Uh, Not today, no. But thank you very much. It's very reassuring, and I thank you. Absolutely. And just keep keep going with that. issue that I picked up on earlier I don't really know how to pinpoint it but I know that you know what it is mm-hmm. so just know it that there's more work later, to be I'm done sure. yeah yeah and but then, it's something that's already happened and then let Susan know yes <laughs> yes absolutely thank you so much thank you thank so much you. ladies I appreciate right, have it have a good night thanks Mary okay bye that was sweet Everybody on Facebook who's having a problem hearing us, we apologize. We're testing this new system out, and I'm hoping that it, you know, it, we figure out what technolo- technologically is going on. But it is a podcast, so if you want to hear the podcast, you can also download it from we'll iTunes subscribe. or Podbean, or you can find it on drdrew.com. It is a podcast, so um, it's not, you know, this is our, <laughs> our rough cut. We've thought, you know, we're trying to... 
Test some new things that we we had a few right. issues today. Spirit broke my scarlet and we couldn't get a hold of <sighs> some people. But anyways, um I was hoping that MC would call in, but she's she what happened was she was supposed we were supposed to start at four and then we got hooked hung up with the sound and she had a reading and she's a busy, busy psychic girl. She has a lot of clients. So she's and I feel bad because she didn't get to talk to Kendra. And she really wanted to give Kendra her, her moral support and congratulate, you know, I guess her hard work and finding her her um, her sister at last. Um, and I think that from all of us, it's, you know, just been on our on the back of her mind for a long time. Yeah, I'm hoping she, she'll call back in. But I, you could hear us, right, Kendra, during that caller? I'm, I'm I'm still here. I'm listening. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, so um, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm <laughs> since since we can, maybe she'll call in. I'm I'm trying to coerce her on my iPad, but uh, my friend Michelle said that the sound wasn't very good on Facebook Live. So we're gonna hopefully figure out why. Um, hello, this is Susan from Calling Out with Susan Pinsky. The last four digits. Hi, this is Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Thank you for waiting. We really appreciate it. Um, I'm here with my sure. co-host, Mary Carey. <laughs> Thank you, <Yay>. Susan. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and now I'm just going to be quiet because... I'm, it's just really fun, you know, trying to host a show and be the tech person and run the phones and be the, you know, everything at the same time. But um, Kalisa and Jen are here. And uh, do you have any questions? Um, I, I was just going to see if you could pick up on whatever came through, but if you need a specific question, I can think of one. <laughs> uh, I didn't say we need it. It's more just if you want to focus on something yeah. in particular. So maybe we'll just tune in and let you know what we see. Um, I, Sounds good. Yeah. I, I've got your head spinning at the moment, so I have to assume that you've had a very busy week. Um, and I just feel <laughs> yeah. like you're getting inundated with tasks one after another after another. And I keep feeling something needs yeah. cleaned. So is there like a dog that needs to be washed or something in your house? Does that make sense? <laughs> um, no, but okay. my house probably needs cleaned. Oh, okay. I feel like it's something – no, it's something that you look after. Is it, is it a child that needs to be bathed? Is that what's going on? It's like it's, it's cleaning time. <laughs> I don't no, know. no. I just – I don't take care of anybody, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay, getting... then start with the house then, I guess. Yeah. Um. I think the ener- just the Maybe energy, it's me. Uh-oh. the energy in general. But I do feel like you have a lot going on with work, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. And there's some changes that I think you might be. Are you a little nervous about? Um. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Okay. With was there a big change in February with work? Like the third week? Um. Not that I can think of right now. Okay, because I feel like there's certain things that are coming that are coming in June, but I felt like it started in February with your work. Yeah, I would write that down okay. and think about that because that makes that makes. Sense. But it's a good thing; it's not anything to be nervous about. Because I feel like you want okay. you want to go. I think. Hold on. I feel like they're going to give you more responsibility with your work. Mm-hmm. Right, and you want it, but you don't want it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm not sure. I'm not sure if that if Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, sorry. I thought someone was talking. Um I'm not sure if that if that clicks right now, but I'll I'll write it down and so think about it. If you have a question regarding work, give us the question and we'll look into it. <laughs> well, actually, I did want to ask regarding work thing. or work or rela- relationships. But sorry, before you um, ask real quick, can I just tell uh-huh. you one more thing that's coming through? I just want to go back to that cleaning of the house. Sure. There's a reason why that needs to be done. Um, you're not going to be living there for okay. an extended period of time. God, I feel it like changes. it's going to be on the market soon, and I feel like you're going to be moving, but it's a good thing. It's an upgrade. It may be a relocation with work. It may be something you've thought about doing, um, but it, it may happen as soon as like three months from now, and it just feels like it's a very happy oh, wow. moment for you. I would even... June. Go as far as to say, yeah, June, I would even go as far as to say that you might be moving in with someone or getting engaged or just like something, because it's like a woo. Maybe that's moment. Mary. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is Mary. It's maybe I've got to like sit over here. <laughs> yes, we can talk about me somewhere. Sorry. <laughs> but um, um. Jessica, would that make sense to you? Um, 
Not really, to be honest, because we just, I'm, I'm married and we just moved here. Um, oh, so you did just move. So no, I don't, well, we're not really. I moving in June. Me. I think Mary's moving in June too. I'm already uh, kind of moved in. It came in, up, so but... I have to, I have to <laughs> stick with it because it did come up. So yeah. I will say, I'll give that to you. Yeah, I, I don't doubt, Khalees. Just... We're just, we're goofing no, around. No, no, it's okay. Just, okay. Just, Jessica, for your sake, just know that that comes up. Go clean the house. Do okay. it. Okay. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay, I will. Oh, it's my garage. Oh, oh. Just clean oh I hate. I have one of those too. Oh. They need energy. If they moved in. Yeah. Just clearing that up. Yeah. Mary's energy is so strong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's blocking us in everything she right is. now. She's I like, hope so. It's I'm all trying. About me. She's like, I'm sorry. Read me. It's been a long time. Me, afternoon. me. It's all about me. <laughs> well, I really do want okay, to talk to my Okay, Jessica, there is a sale of property Earth around Earth. you. I can't change it. Something's being sold. So whether it's a car or a house or a boat, something is being sold. I can't change that. So know that that comes up and know that it'll be a good thing. So don't panic. Know that it's going to be like a woohoo moment. Something's being sold. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're <laughs> okay. That's good to know. And we can find dead bodies in Massachusetts, apparently. Yeah. So yes, yeah. you we're can. Good. And you predicted me. We're good. Yeah, job. that was yeah. so cool. That's fancy. That's fancy. He so likes anybody, fancy things. If anybody's uh, roughing it out on Facebook Live, I want to thank you. We we're <laughs> we just heard what it sounds like, and Is it's it really pretty bad? funny. It sounds like <laughs> we're talking through. A spiritual vortex. It's like <laughs> rah, 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 that's rah, rah. what it sounded when I was calling you earlier. Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. This is a with. This is why we're doing it on my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is why it's streamed to all but, of our fan pages. Yes. Yes. But once again, I do want to tell people that this does come out in podcast form and it will yeah. be good sound and you'll be able to hear the whole thing with all the commercials, which I hope you will uh, contribute to because they are great sponsors. We have Bergamet, <clears throat> Bergafem.com, which, uh, Bergamet.com, which is bergamot which i actually take every day uh, <laughs> it is made from the bergamot fruit and it's a natural uh, cardiovascular medication and also helps with your libido and your hot flashes so um anybody I need help with my libido so i'll take it yeah it helps it helps I'm in your heart if you have any kind of I cholesterol or cholesterol. and then no also our favorite hydrolyte, who, no. who also is a drdew.com sponsor. But I want everybody to go over to drdew.com and click on the banners and buy some of this stuff so we can continue this this journey and um, help uh, people like Kendra and also Mary uh, Carey, who are Mary Ellen, who are uh, looking for answers and uh, spiritual guidance and self-fulfilling prophecies and and just, you know, positive vibes or whatever it is that, you know, we give here. Um, oh, I have a question for both of them. Absolutely. So, obviously, I was, you know, I used to do adult movies, and I've been out of that um, pretty much since Celebrity Rehab. And then right. I was still doing club appearances and stuff, but I want to, obviously, I'm giving all that up, too, and I'm getting my boobs smaller in <laughs> May and, and everything. I'm very excited for that. Do you have another book signing coming up, though? I've got, like, a big book signing around you, and I don't know if that's something that you did as, I don't like, know your about final the boobs. event. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just decided the boobs, Susan. Wow. Smaller boobs, yeah. Oh. I know Drew will be so happy. He tried to get me to do that on Sober House. But, oh, really? Um, well, the producers did. I don't know if Drew's behind that. It's a lot of work. Not, Those boobs are a lot of I work. can't wait for smaller boobs. <laughs> well, I mean, I wanted to write it. I had a book deal a while back, and then I didn't, you know, I went, like after like three it or four be, years. No, it'll happen. Okay. Yeah. That might be the last. Sorry, what was your actual question before I well, started? What, 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 what am I just going to be like, because I wouldn't mind just being like um, a mom, like a full time mom. That, like, oh, I'll yeah. Be, I'll probably be a little obsessed with my kids, like, you know, like. But ballet, like my daughter has to do. Well, if I have daughter, I feel like I you're going to do that, but you're going to be filmed doing it. Okay. See, that's so interesting. So I had like, an image of you on a. Well, couch. I told. I've been telling Joe like to be on the Real Housewives with so. a cloth. <laughs> Probably. You've got like one baby here, and you've got a cloth over your shoulder, and you're just like. Okay, mom so I want to. So I, I'm going to use my psychic ability for okay. the whole. Oh, good. The, the whole great, ballet. For the greater good. Thing. Okay. Susan's going to tell okay. me you can't do this ballet. This is the voice of reason coming in. This is God. Okay. Yeah. Uh, only because I had. Oh, oh my God. at the same time. <laughs> At first, I thought it was coming over the whole house. I thought it was like an emergency. Me too. I was like, <laughs> it's September 11 all over again. Oh my I gosh. Go. <laughs> what so, is the vision with ballet? Susan? Well, I, I think that when you have children and they come out, they're not necessarily just like you. I know. They have. <laughs> 
Like I had three babies ex- that were completely yeah. different. And what, and when you are, of course you're going to train your child or give your child experiences yeah. that made you happy and what you, mm-hmm. what you loved in your life. <laughs> and they may want to be like you too. I mean, that, yeah. that happens, but there is always that day when they don't want to, and you have to just know when that is okay. so that they okay. don't feel like they have to be responsible for you. I know. And if they want to play soccer or rugby and mm-hmm. dye their hair purple after doing 12 years in skating <laughs> and become a junior lady and, and they decide to be table. on the rugby team, you just have to embrace it. And yeah. and also just because, and that's something that you know, know and that I you know. love. And I think your kids are going to love it too. They're going to love to dance. They're going to love to sing. They're going to love to be, yeah. you have so much energy and they're going to love that stuff. And there's also yeah. the school will give them so many opportunities mm-hmm. and, you know, but, but it's, there's nothing wrong with <laughs> wanting them to do that. But, but, you know, don't so be I can't brainwash her into tiger body. mom. Yeah. <laughs> Get her. I was going to try to do I'm that. a you, dance mom. Tig- and that's tiger absurd. Tiger mom is not what I see for you. What, what is it? No. T- I don't see you as a tiger mom. But I had a question for you. What mm. about your career do you feel stops you being a mom? Because I don't actually feel that any of it. Well, I mean, I just. Because you're not, you know, like. I was still doing the, like, the strip club appearances. And yeah. that's, and I've, you know, my last one's going to be in Nashville. Yeah. Um, Lucky Nashville. Yeah. <laughs> like, I but, get the scheduling thing of working. But no, and well, also because, hard. I mean, you know, um, <laughs> I don't think Joe likes me doing it. Yeah. So <laughs> He's, then there's it that. doesn't really fit in with the physician's wives. But no, and I, I mean, I'm 37 years old now. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm getting old for that. But um, I would like, I mean, I. I mean, I guess I don't necessarily have to give up the name Mary Carey. One of the things that people, uh, one of my therapists at Mary Rehab had told me, she's like, you could put Mary Carey towards just good instead of bad. Not that adult stuff is bad, but, no. you know, figure out a way to take the following I developed on social media with that stuff and everything else and put it towards another yeah. well, thing. Well, s- stars there. evolve. Yeah. You know, like Beyonce was yeah. Destiny's Child and then she became yeah. Beyonce. You know, like you, you become whatever you are at that yeah. moment. I think it's awesome. And They're going to love you the same. So you I, say you used to be being Rather than kids, like right? disappearing. Yeah. Okay, good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. No, rather than I've getting seen... rid of your past, I think you should evolve it into that's, Well, are. I guess that's why. Like don't yeah. deny it. Cause okay. It's, um, I used to have a theory that one day at the PTA meeting, everybody <laughs> would have been a porn star by then. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, all the women will be like, the only ones that can afford to go to the fancy schools are going to be the ones that were in in because it'll be like oh yeah i had that producer do you remember that director oh yeah it'll be like the conversation (laughs) i decided that so many women are you know in it it's just like you know whatever so i don't you're just fine you know what joe i'm going back to porn susan convinced me (laughs) just kidding let's tell dr drew to give an opinion i'm just kidding i don't think you need to i think i think you're marrying a wonderful man and you'll be able to change your lifestyle to fit i did for my husband you know and it's you just you learn to navigate the the world in a different way Mm -hmm. and look at jennifer she married a nerdy guy. I mean, come yes, on. I did. <laughs> nerdy guy. Yes, I My did. doctor's not nerdy. But I guess all doctors are a little nerdy because they have to have all that knowledge. Yeah, they're a little nerdy. They're a little nerdy. But, you know, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. No, but he's a cool doctor. It's okay. But anyways, I think... Can we please wear a plastic surgeon? <laughs> no, he's emergency medicine. Yeah, I could use a plastic surgeon. ER. Yeah, I know, but he's going to learn... The you know what, though? Family. I think he's going to learn Botox and stuff, though, too, Kendra, so... There you go. Yeah. Yay, invite me over. I will. We were thinking about doing that. With all the girls I'm friends with, we could just have a Botox party. He'll learn how to do it. And, yeah. yeah. One, one at a day. One, <laughs> one girl a day. Or after you're done with babies, you could get your cosmetology license and do that oh, yourself, too. Oh, except for our needles. You see, no, you have, oh, okay, then, oh, you have to be yeah, a nurse. You have to be a nurse Okay, yeah. I can't handle needles. <laughs> Never mind. Cosmetology. Bad idea. Bad idea. Yeah, you could give a good massage in cosmetology. <laughs> I've got one of those. So um, thank you so much, Kendra. What are you doing these days? Is there anything that you want to plug? Me? No. I'm just uh, I'm just being mom and being yeah, happy mom. and, you know. We're promoting momhood. <laughs> so that's that's a good thing. <laughs> momhood um, is good. And you're healthy. It's very and I good. saw you I saw Lucas and our love to Lucas and thank you for all the music he gave us over the years for all the podcast extra music. I think I think Nate knows every single song. Um and <laughs> that's awesome. I'll have to send you some new ones. <laughs> and and I guess Mary's gonna come to Nashville and you'll be able to yes, see her. Yes, I'm there May third, fourth, and fifth. 
text me. What the heck? Jennifer Schaefer, you have yes. you have some great things going on. I do. I'm a little tired. Um, <laughs> I but, bet. Uh, yeah. So I mm. have Vino and Voices. I'm doing something in Hermosa Beach at Uncorked. Oh, nice. Um, which is always fun. It's just, it, I do it once a month. Mm-hmm. And people that can't get in to see me come and it's they get a glass of wine or it's Pellegrino. It doesn't really matter. Oh, nice. And it's really cool. I really like doing that. So go to Vino and Voices at? Vino and Voices at Uncorked Hermosa. Oh, nice. When is it going to yeah. be? Monday. This Monday. This coming Monday. Up. This okay. Coming up. So everybody yeah. in Hermosa, go visit Jennifer. Yep. And then I'm going to the Bahamas, like we did two years ago. Oh, nice. But not on the same boat, thank oh. goodness. And I'm traveling a lot. I keep thinking my traveling's going to come But, down, but just, just if you want to find her at jenniferschafer.com, you can yep. get a psychic reading. And she works with a lot of um, forensic uh, yes. findings and stuff. Um, She's very good at it. We're, we've actually, we're currently, I'm in charge of the content for an app that we're creating that's pretty spectacular that the Department of Defense is looking at right now. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice. It's a, we've very been working cool. on it for two years. Wow, that's and it's, cool. it's to make it to where, like, what we did, you know, when I first talked to uh, Kendra, it's to put that in action. Mm-hmm. So law enforcement, <laughs> it's like a live Amber Alert, but with cases. Wow. And the wow. AI information goes in there. Yeah, there's a lot to Amazing. it. Amazing. Very but cool. We're working at it. And then Kalisa <laughs> yes. Simone, my little friend from New York. We just went to New York and had a great time together. We had a lot of fun together. We did. So um, obviously tonight I'm here. Tomorrow night I'm in Orange County with April Nicole, and we're going to do a high tea with Spirit. That's so awesome. um, that's actually completely sold out. So please don't buy any more tickets because we're oversold. All right. Well. Um, and then uh, on May the 18th, the 18th of May, I will be in New York City with April Nicole doing an evening with spirit, which is a celebration for springtime and messages from the other side. Nice. That is on there. sale now. Please come, please buy tickets. We'd love to see everyone. So you there. go to Kalisamone.com. Kalisamone.com. I will be in Aspen, Colorado this weekend over March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, doing private readings and teaching meditation classes. If you're in Aspen, if you're in Vail, if you're in Denver, drive to come and see me and join my class. It's <laughs> okay. awesome. Okay. And then Aspen's I'll be, fun. yeah, I'll be in Sydney, Australia in April. So Email contact at cleesimone.com if you want to book a reading. I have three more spaces available. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So that's me. Awesome. And we'll be posting Simone. this this week. And, you know, just yeah. I'm at First Lady of Love everywhere. And also, you know, find us on Twitter or Facebook and Instagram. Just look at us. Um, I'll have everything on Calling Out with Susan Pinsky. And doctor.com. You can find <clears> the player there. Uh, hopefully, we'll be um, coming at you with a video <laughs> fancy in the future i don't know if we'll have phone calls included but um we're gonna, we're gonna do this we're gonna figure this out uh, and um us. you know uh appreciate everybody hanging in and staying a fan and everybody who stayed on on hold if you have any questions email them to me at calling out at dr drew.com and we'll try to get you on the show next time thank you bye Ciao. bye everyone bye. i get private time now <laughs> I gotta tell you about Hydrolyte. Drew introduced this product to me last year, and I've been using it almost every day since. It's a drinking mix that keeps you really hydrated, especially after a Bahama cruise. All my friends on the cruise loved it. This time of year, it's nearly impossible to avoid getting sick and staying well hydrated is crucial. If you manage not to catch something, it's so easy to get dehydrated just because we're all so busy and never manage to drink enough water during the day. That's the beauty of Hydrolyte. Whether you're sick or not, you can absolutely benefit from the proper balance of sodium, glucose, and water. And Hydrolyte does this better than sports drinks with 75% less sugar. Hydrolyte comes in great flavors like orange, berry, and lemonade, and is available as a pre-mixed drink, a powder, or my favorite, fizzy little tablets you can drop into a glass or bottle of water. Order Hydrolyte today at hydrolyte.com slash Dr. Drew. That's H-Y-D-R-A-L-Y-T-E dot com slash Dr. Drew. For a limited time, my listeners can save 30% on Hydrolyte. Just click the banner on my site or the drdrew.com site and use code drdrew18 at checkout. That's D-R-D-R-E-W-1-8.
Thanks for listening to Calling Out with Susan Pinsky. Follow Susan on Twitter or Instagram at First Lady of Love. And check callingoutwithsusanpinsky.com for all the latest info and links to our cast of clairvoyance. Call out.